Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. So today I'm going to be doing a review on the real versus the fake Kyla Jenner lip kits. Okay, so a few months ago I got the real Candy Key lip kit by Kyla Jenner. This was like just after she started launching them. And you can see I've had it so long and my box is a little bit discolored. But I thought I'd order one on eBay and I thought maybe it'd be a little bit cheaper than paying the shipping. So I looked and there was some for like £2 and I was like, mm, a little bit weird. So I ordered one, knowing obviously it was a fake, and it came. And the first one I ever got was Coco Key. And you can see it is just completely off. So I'm going to do some comparisons, but I have three to compare with. I'll show you on the lips, but first off I'll go away by the boxes. So this is the real and this is the fake. This is Candy Key and the fake Dolce Key. So my Candy Key box is really discoloured because I have had it a very long time. So please do ignore that. I can't really compare colour. But the things that are most obvious from when you get this delivered to you to see if you have bought a fake is very noticeable and it is the teeth. Now the real Kylie, I don't know if you can tell. As you can see, Kylie's grill in this photo actually is metallic. But on the fake, it is just completely silver cardboard and does not look as nice and definitely looks a lot cheaper. Looking at the front, everything else looks exactly the same. They are incredibly alike, but there is other things that are a bit different. The back, exactly the same, no difference. Apart from my boxes like came a little bit separated because the Kylie one just it actually feels a lot nicer, it doesn't feel as cheap. So I'm going to start off with the lip liners because I feel like that's the easiest place to start. And I'm going to start off with the real one, which is a real candy cane. And I can't really tell much of a difference because I have sharpened it, so I can't tell by size. But the first thing I see that's fake about it is the height. The real one is a lot smaller at the top that shows the colour. I don't feel that like the colour is really matches the lip pencil itself. Okay, so now moving on to the most important thing, which is the liquid lipsticks. Now, they probably look quite similar on camera, but I can tell just by holding them what one's real and what one's fake. This one is a lot heavier, whereas this one is just really, really cheap. Like, I feel like if I pushed in enough, I'd be able to dent it. It's so cheap plastic. But the, the front of them is actually pretty similar, apart from the fact that on the fake, my writing's kind of come off, which is a bit disappointing because I've only had it a little while, I haven't even used it. And the stickers on the bottom are exactly the same. Again, Candy Key is the real, Dolce Key is the fake. Okay, so I'm going to look at the doe foots. Now, the real Kylo one I actually quite like because it's quite small and it just really gets like your cupid's bow really nicely. So, I just really like that. But whereas the fake, you can tell already, it is very, there's a hair in it. It is very big, just like your normal lipstick do applicator. It doesn't smell very... It doesn't smell very nice at all. Definitely not as nice as Kylie's, which smells like vanilla. It feels like they've tried to put a scent in there, but it hasn't really worked. So the next thing I can do is try it on my lips. The first one I'm going to do is a real Kylie Jenner candy cake, and mine is pretty much empty now. But I'm going to try and just do my lips, and I'll be back in a second. <laughs> Okay, so I don't know how well you can see, but that is a real Kylie Jenner candy key on my lips. And as you can see, it is very, very matte and very, very light. It feels like it's not going to move. I didn't even line my lips with this and it sits really nicely. It doesn't sink into any lines. It's just a really nice formula. It is not sticky at all and I feel like that's going to be the biggest thing with the fakes. So let's try the first fake, which is Dolce K. So this is Dolce Key, the fake version, and it is a really nice, I do really like the colour, but it just feels completely different for Kylie's. Kylie's really feels really thin and really light when you apply it. This is more of a whipped, kind of moussey kind of formula. Almost like the NYX lipsticks that have that kind of whipped formula, and to be honest, it really, the smell is so bad, and they are so sticky, I mean, it literally does not feel like it's drying. Yeah, every time I'm talking, it's kind of coming off of the bit here and sticking to the top lip and making it kind of ball up and it just, it really doesn't look nice. So maybe 
the next shade will work for me and the next shade is Coco K. So let's try and Coco K. Okay, so I just want to add in that Dolce K was incredibly hard to get off. The real is hard to get off, but that just seemed to really, really tug on my lips, whereas Kylie's just needs a little bit of extra work and it comes off. So to be honest, my lip, lips are probably really red, so I'll put a little bit of foundation over them, but they are really painful and it's really not nice trying to get that off. So I've tried Coco K and I'll do this one next. Okay, so I've just opened Coco K and it looks exactly the same as the other one. Again, a little hiccup with the right in, but it looks pretty real. Again, it has a long doe foot. The smell, like the, uh, this actually smells like nail polish. I don't want to put this on my lips, but I'll do it anyway. Okay, so this is Coco Key and the smell is actually disgusting. I can still smell it even though it's on my lips. It's definitely a lot worse than the last one we tried and it's definitely not as nice as Kylie's. But it is drying down, but so far again, I feel like it just, it felt completely different from the last week. It did feel a lot more lightweight, but it still didn't feel like Kylie's. It still doesn't feel as drying as quickly as Kylie's. And I don't feel like this is the real colour of Coco Key. It's a very mm, bright pink compared to the kind of nudie pink I expected I was buying. So yeah, it's pretty much completely dried down now. And it does have a little bit of stickiness as you can see. Not as bad as the other one. But I definitely don't like this one at all. So this one again is a thumbs down. Okay, and the last one I have to try is True Brown Key, which I know for a fact is not going to suit me. I just wanted to see how pigmented the fake dark ones were. This has actually came broken. There is no stopper and my lipstick wand is completely covered. So I'm gonna have to be very careful and scrape some of this off. Okay, so I don't expect this colour to suit me but I just wanna see how pigmented it is and yeah, let's go. Okay, so this is True Brown Key on me. I don't suit this colour, but I just thought buying these fakes would be a good way to kind of see if I would like the colour on myself and if I'd want to go and buy the Kylie one, but I don't really think these are good representations of the real Kylie Jenner lip kits, so I'm not really going to take anything from it. But this one felt a lot more like Dolce Key in the Moussey kind of formula, and again, it is a little bit sticky, and it is very moussey, and this one doesn't actually have doesn't have a smell, like maybe like a tiny bit of kind of smells like baby wipes, which is a bit weird. But yeah, so my advice is don't order the fakes because you have no idea what is in them and they can completely destroy your lips. My lips are pretty sore from trying Theon. And yeah, I just stick to buying cheaper ones, whether it be Colourpop or just some from a drugstore like the NYX ones, but it's a lot better than buying fakes. So guys, if you liked the video, remember to give it a thumbs up and comment below what you want to see next. You want to see more fakes, some more tutorials, what you want to see. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time with another video. Bye!